How's it going, my fellow Casanovians? This is TC Casanova bringing you the videos you love. And as you can see, I'm here with Either Dynamics. Either Dynamics, say hello. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, look at that reveal. Oh, this is fancy. Oh. <laughs> uh, by the way, you, you don't by the way if that, you are either. doing stuff, uh, if, if you are doing stuff, you, you, uh, your screen isn't shared, so I have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, that only the audience sees. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're as you can see from the video title, which neither of us can see yet because I haven't decided on it yet. Uh, we're playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition, so uh, let me try to get that set up. All right, cool. Um, what what you can do then is if you just want, what well, here's the question: Do you want to do the whole wagon thing, or do you want to uh, just start off running around the world? I got an answer for you. <laughs> That's not what you think either. Here we go. We do have an alternate start thing already set. Ready to go? Perhaps. I have Done. been uh, doing this whole YouTube thing for a while now. I uh, I kind of know what I'm doing. The question is, does Bethesda know what they're doing? Let's see if it works, right? Well, I'm sure I'm sure it's not Bethesda's fault if this goes wrong. Are you on like old school 256 color mode? Like I am on a uh God, I forget what the system is called. Uh it's a uh, it's an EMB that's trying to emulate an old uh I, I I googled it earlier. Let me look on my phone. Yeah, that's almost like MCGA. That's like a 256 color palette. Yeah, I was looking. gonna do uh, okay. I was on, gonna do Commodore 64, but I didn't. Ah. <laughs> I grew up on that thing, so yeah. But I thought this would look better for the video. Also, also, uh, I'm really short. Oh well. Um, that's remarkable, actually. Is it they're even doing like the uh dithering in the background for nice? I'm gonna choose an original name here. Never seen before. There you go. Oh, glitch. Cool. <laughs> Are you very short? It feels like you're I am teeny very tiny. Short, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of a mod. It's called Scale Madness. It uh, it makes creatures taller or shorter depending how strong they are. But it doesn't work for every creature. As you can see, this guy is normal. But if something has a really ones. high level, then it can be Mike really. Mike wishes tall. you well. Thank you, Mike. You might remember this uh, this oh, whole yeah. uh, start because we use this in uh, Dynamics of Squizzard. Indeed. Yeah, can you can you even reach things? <laughs> no! <laughs> Come awesome, back. Whatever. I don't think it comes back. I think it spawns at the center of a cell, which is over there. You can see a certain mod loading in the top left. Look at that. A certain, a certain couple of mods that I use in every single mod list I ever make. So thank you. It's uh, I don't think great to see. Yeah, I, I, I had no, uh, no other dependencies. So I'm glad to see they're all firing as they should on anniversary edition. Wow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's, that's remarkable. Even at that, oh, the, the reduced colors there. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. Also, if you see the screen oh. going darker, that's because I do have a blinking mod installed. Oh, cool. I was kind of curious about that, yeah. By the way, have you ever looked up a 64K challenge? Have you heard of those things? A 64K? What's that? So it's, a, it's an old, old, old school programming challenge where programs are limited to their EXE. They're executable for their video demo. It's a video and music demo. It can only be 64 kilobytes. Not me not gigabytes, not megabytes. Kilobytes. And you would yeah, be if it, it, well, if it was 64 gigabytes, it wouldn't be that much of a limit. Right. <laughs> well, you'd still be amazed at what these people pull off with 64 kilobytes for their compressed uh, EXE size. 
I'll send you some links later. It is mind blowing. So you just reminded me of that when you were staring up at the sky and seeing that uh, amazing kind of low color palette dithered uh, spiral into infinity there with the clouds. Uh, folks pull that kind of stuff off regularly. Sure it just, it look, looks fantastic. A little bit. Right. This kind of matting in the game where you can have these ledges. What I love fantastic. I, what I love about Skyrim is that uh, with what I've done with this EMB and mods, I, it's very unlikely that somebody would have this exact perspective being this short and have it looking like this. Because I also have a Sky mod installed, so the the amount of overlap between the people to have all these things and installed exactly where I have is probably zero. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is brand new. I've never seen anyone do a low color palette EMB like this. It's it's actually really impressive. I don't know how it's going to look uh, with YouTube compression, but for me it looks awesome. Ah. So, uh, I bet you're all jealous looking at like 10 pixels on YouTube. <laughs> actually, you know, uh, because you're confined to a semi-low resolution, or at least it looks semi-low resolution here, um, if you upload a high enough resolution to YouTube, hopefully you actually shouldn't get uh, too bad of a final result. I mean, you may get some kind of weird point pattern looking distortion here, but maybe, maybe not. I don't think I have a good place to start. But there's a chance it'll work out. Oh, that looks so pretty. I don't know what the hell Ilmaz Deep is. Oh, that's, so that's the, uh, in, in Lake Ilmata, which is north of Falkreath, that's oh. the place you have to, whoa, go on your quest to get the Black Star. And I guess you're, you're off to somewhere. We'll find out. Goodbye, world. Nah, it's so at the center of the cell again. Yeah. I think it's just a cool side effect of this mod. That that when you fall out this world, you get to look up and like see it all, like because it's like it's meant to be like a realm outside of space and time. And the default Skyrim has that teleporting from falling off the world kind of effect. A reach Stormcloak camp. I want to start somewhere cool. Hard for me to make jumps. <laughs> and I also don't want to start anywhere near any of your places. <laughs> but there are a few, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely Stone not in Lost what Valley. Stone Hills. Oh, Miko that's actually Shep. not a bad spot. It's a, it's a little Miko crook. Shep. Um... Probably a bad idea just in the middle of the wilderness. I'm not sure where Miko's shack is. Let me, let me think about this. I know where me. I know what Miko is. I don't know where it is. Miko's the dog that had that's like owner dies and you adopt it, kind of. Oh, okay. Just survival pop tab when you get mode. here and we'll figure it out, right? Uh, you think I should do survival? I I don't like survival. <laughs> it's part of the creation do, yeah. club update, but I mean it's optional, so yeah. I mean I'm interacting with the mod. See, look, I look, see, I interacted with it. What? What? Whoa! 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 <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> Why are there already people after me? Is that a comfortable way to start? I should have started in the city. I see people, but it's always so. You can always pop tab and see where we're at. Where is Miko Shack? Oh, you're there. Okay. It's a little tricky because if you want to get to solitude and you stay on the road, you're going to have to go through that and it can't place. Whoops. I can fast travel to that, so I guess it's a pot out of place, but... Yeah, it's interesting they have several of those spots already in there. It's, it's usually by... I hope you don't. Okay, you found me. Ah! Ah! Roll! Roll! Your arrows. Roll down Your the hill. Arrows. I'm so tiny. <laughs> Help me. Oh, oh, where is this? Run, run, run. You're oh. as good as dead. Someone there? Hopefully, uh. Ah, get in there. Are these people trying to kill me? Just getting jumpy, I guess. I don't think so. Now they're out to get me. Who's up? Why are people out to get me? 
mean, hopefully just the bandits and hopefully the town guards are here. I got I This is completely new to me too. That's Interesting. Just, yeah. Sounds like some Argonians here. But that is some old school Commodore style uh, brush or graphics there. Yeah. yeah. I did add a, add a Christmas like mod. A, it's like a candy cane village. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I have a Christmas mod. The question is, are there any guards here? I pray for yes, but we're gonna find out. I don't know if there's anyone here. It's kind of dead. It's very strange. Yeah, can you just pop in any of those spots? Or find out. Oh no, they're all locked. Wait a second. That one is. Yeah, you got away. You're too teeny. There's some role play I could attach to that, probably. Richmond's Tower okay, is close yes, to Richmond's West. house. That's good to know, I guess. There's a note for you in room. You can fast now, travel if you do want to level up. There you, you go, fast yeah. travel to Helgen. If you do want to oh, level up with some that, help. That, does uh, that start the original start? I forget. This, uh, this pose right here? Yes. No, I mean, uh... I think if you like uh, go to the Helgen and some alternate start mods, it like kind of like starts the original like on a cart thing. Nope, just the dragon. Uh, yeah, no, I think you see. Yeah, I think that you should see Alduin fly over your right shoulder at some point. That's a crazy looking uh, sky. Going, going east. Oh, that is trippy. Hey, you in the comments, try to make up lore for this character. Why they're so tiny. <laughs> As the director of the series, I'm just gonna say that whatever happens here is in the same universe as Squizzy. I don't know when, but it happens. <laughs> there is, is this Thank the consequence of Squizzards meddling, right? All the colors are strange. <laughs> yeah. A little, little preview of what season three should look like. A little bit better than this stuff. Wow. Oh, man. This is almost like a Kandinsky or a, or a oh, Salvador what the Dali, hell? right? It's just, just, oh, it's what a whisper. What are those <laughs> Not trying to kill me. Kill me. Why what tower you, that is. Why aren't you trying to kill me? <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh, that one's trying to kill me. Oh, shit. Ah! Uh oh. Oh, is that a wisp mother? Oh, run away. I'm so slow. Like 600 health. Oh, lord. Is it time for a uh, toggle god mode, or...? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, and then... Use of some commands will disable achievements, you know that? I think, uh... Run! <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, I think I know where you're at. You're near this, uh, the tower that has that long tunnel. Skybound. Run! Wow. Look at that. I see it. I thought I'd see it. This mountain just looks really good. Do you mind? I think you're near South Skybound Watch. Which is Do you mind, buddy? Watch. I'm trying to admire the view. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather impale your face. I impale my eyes so I can't admire the view anymore. Right. There's something cool about this effect because it like makes it feel like so much further away than it is. So I didn't, I didn't name this character anything other than myself but uh you could you can name the character if you want you, have you a really should mind? put on some clothes you know are you talking to the audience or you're talking to me either of you whoever speaks up first <laughs> 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 well consider the audience is here right strangers, but you seem all right i mean there are a thousand and one you know mini me jokes uh really yes. anything that's just not biting off some obvious hollywood franchise need something I don't know what mods I have installed, but everyone always puts stuff in the sleeping giant in. So let me see if I have anything here. Well, 
What do you want? I love, I love that whenever you go in any Lord building God. in Skyrim, you're always getting trash talked before the screen fades in. Hard not right? to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Ooh. Did you hear me? Yep, the ale's going yeah, It's bad. funny how there's all this stuff just lying around here. <laughs> the years after all. Just make sure we get a what fresh What the hell is this? What if I wander in there? In. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and send someone over. What's funny is there's a, like a double distortion effect because uh, Discord kind of... Uh... Get on there? Oh, you can. Nice. Uh, it's also trying to be economical about the uh, bandwidth that it's consuming. So it's like, not only is it low... I'm so short that I can't jump over the map. <laughs> I wouldn't say low poly, but it's definitely uh, got some weird effects going on right now. This Feel free to take stuff. some yeah. screenshots and send them to me. Oh, yeah, I'll take some. Oh shit! Hear that visitor been poking around? I'm not poking around. Question is, can you complete what? the main? So this... much water. What are you? Oh yeah, this is gonna be what we live time, right? Is that what this is? I think so. Select it. Oh, okay. Good. Let's get moved. What? Maybe let's get moving. Automatic follower? I guess not. Okay, yeah. There's a weird quote. Can't select it. Weird. Good. I think. But you, but you, you can't choose the dialogue option. Uh, it's very strange. Ready to go? Oh, okay. <laughs> what pumps? Pumps. Guess we're staying on that bridge, buddy. Right. The question is, can you even complete any of the quests given your diminutive size here? And the answer might be no. Can you beat Skyrim if you go taller as you get stronger? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so funny about Skyrim. I grew up just not caring about the, the path they want you to go because I was just follow the straight line on the compass. Hey, and it always it works. Saves time. It right. always works every single time. <laughs> it was actually it, it took it was a couple years of me playing Skyrim to realize that there was an actual path up of up the mountain to get to the Greybeards and you weren't supposed to take a horse up the other side. It. Like, I actually didn't know that there was actually a thousand steps to get there for a long time. I think that's pretty telling about Skyrim, I love it. <laughs> Damn it! I was too short to help. Uh, you got no clothes. You should get some. Get away from me! <laughs> get away! Get away! Actually, wait get a away. minute. See, see if you can talk to her? Because the, the dialogue... Oh, oh my god, the potato plants are towering over you. Um, that might see that might reveal if your dialogue is broken or not, right? You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. I didn't even an outsider, oh, eh? Never oh, heard it of the does. companions? Okay. An order of and So if you come back here once a day, uh, you don't have to go in or anything. If you just approach the meadery, then you'll see uh, merchant will usually be there and she'll she'll head on in and then the captain will either go in if there's no work for that day or he'll just head off to the wilderness and you can follow him. And then you'll have one of four different locations that he'll go to. There will be loot in each of the one of those locations and a new mini boss added in there. So uh, just a nice little way of leveling your stuff up. Now the loot will level with you, but there are also some special one of a kind items that you'll find in two different locations, uh, depending on what the, the random roll is for that day. So if you want to either uh, wait outside or if you want to leave and come back, like I don't know if you want to get a, a bed in the uh, the bannered mare, whatever works for you. This is the spot, so you can just be a good nice rest. <laughs> Break the uh, right here. knees and rib cage to the dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I was a toddler and I wanted to make a statement, you know. I don't even know how long I'm waiting for. I think I've set it to wait for 30 days. Yeah. 
Is that is that days? Okay. Oh, it's not. Hang on, uh, you don't have to go into Eyeless to see if they show up. If not, you'll just have to leave, spend a night somewhere else, and come back. Uh, they're set to spawn in. Uh, I don't know, fresh load like that. So they should come in from your left hand side, actually. But they'll run around the corner there. Let's see. That's him. This is <laughs> as a guard. Wait, wait. I know you. <laughs> That's right, you have, a, you have a bounty. Until next time. <laughs> you punched a chicken. You're in trouble, mister. No, I'm not, because you forgot about it. <laughs> I love that they can just like kind of leave the conversation. Boy, there is confused by the oops, the idea of a fence. <laughs> okay, glad I paid you 500 gold. Yeah, from de like from there. Okay, that's probably just a nav mesh issue. Yeah, that's gotta be a nav mesh thing. Uh, oh, oh, you almost okay. figured it out. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts. Let's try again. He's close. It's evolving. It evolved. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it evolved or pure randomness got it through, right? But it, like, it, it's funny because looks like he was trying to understand it. Wait, I know you. Wait. Wait, I know you. I know you. I installed a mod oh, earlier nice. that, uh, that uh, added a stress mechanic. And it was kind of funny because, like, I, I I was in God mode, but I had a heart attack. So if I wasn't in God mode, I would have died. I uninstalled it because it was like really, it was really difficult. Like it, it was like, it was like extremely difficult. Like you get into one fight, somebody hits you, and you have a heart attack. <laughs> That sounds a little a little over the top. I know Darkest Dungeon is the game that has the idea of uh, kind of like the, the Lovecraft-esque idea of horror that eventually just uh, consumes or destroys or, or uh, otherwise compromises the protagonists, right? As you can tell, I did un install a butterfly mod. Awesome. I like it. Even, even at super low res and all that stuff? That's very nice. It's kind of funny because when I look at the sky, it doesn't. It looks like I'm almost looking down. Right? Yeah, it's like a topographic map, right? Like I could start falling up. <laughs> there's this really, there's this one really cool movie. I don't know if it's like really cool, like, like in a goodly made way, but it's like, um, I think it's called like Upside Down or something. It's about a about two planets that like have like opposite gravities, and it, there's people that live on both of them. And like, and uh, and it's like it's kind of like a love story between people from the different planets and stuff. But I just thought it'd be cool if there was a game with like a similar mechanic where you, where the, if you would look up from the one world, you would see the other world above you, and then there would be ways like go to the other world, and it's a whole other open world, like a separate one. Oh, like like a. Uh... Gosh, I want to say I think Isaac Asimov had a. Some, some, similar to that, it was like uh, Ring World, where basically like you're in a giant spa uh, spaceship and then you have gravity from centripetal force, like it, the whole thing spins, so you're just in this long contiguous ring, and that's what keeps you, you know, anchored in. So if you look up, you actually see the ring go off in both directions. And, yeah, it's very disorienting. Which people are those? Oh, the most recent one. Yeah, the, that's the Lost Valley Forsworn location, and that's the one where it's like. It's meant for end game level players where uh, you, know, you, you can easily go off and beat Alduin. Uh, the boss maxes out between level 90 and 110. So that's you, definitely. Uh, if you were to go at them while you're like level one, are they going to be weaker or not? Nah? No, they, it's it's they're completely in all organic factions are completely independent of the player in terms of. But I mean, I don't uh, mean level. like I, I mean, like if you give them enough time where you're that powerful, aren't they going to advance more, though? So, I, I give each one a cap, right? So, that original organic faction has different groups in different areas that have their own, like, if you kill them and they start over, they start at a lower level, and then they can advance it to a certain degree, but I also give them a cap, depending on where they're at. So, like, the lowest zone has people generally between level 10 and 30, right? It's And it's, it's you know, as time goes on, they advance by, by 10 levels at a time. 
Uh, the next area is 30 to 50. The next area is 50 to 70. Uh, the masters are uh, 70 to 90, and then the boss is 90 to 110. That's our cap. Yeah, the, the cap for the boss is 110. Which is, you know, it's plenty strong. Um, but the idea is it, it gives the player uh, these different strata they can, they can try to work their way up. And they don't have to, they don't have to get all the way up. Uh, there you go. Uh, you, know, you better run. <laughs> it sounded like the goat saying that. Yeah, um, you don't have to uh, get all the way up. Even if you defeat some members of the lower strata, you still get really what even good was this person? loot, sometimes unique magic items from them. Where were... What was that? This is the Falmore Justice out of here. Oh, one of these guys. Oh, okay. This doesn't concern you, citizen. You're interfering with official Falmore business. Walk away now. Watch it. Delicious ankles. Walk away now. I'm so friends. Huh? Mad. <laughs> Never should have come here. It's a shame because some of the uh, Thalmor and Elmar are really gone. cool. Then, you know. Oh, he's dead! She got rocked! Yeah. <laughs> You're dead! I don't know, buddy. That's the best! The boss didn't appear so well. Mercy! Holy shit, it sounds so fucking mean too. I, yeah, your I mercenary does God. not play around. He doesn't even care to date an attack first. <laughs> Alright, you wanna murder? I'll, I'll Let's do it. I'll murder better. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll take care of it, boss. Wink, and then what? <laughs> Oh man. I'll take care of those butterflies, boss. <laughs> <laughs> the butterfly like murders him, like what the <laughs> <laughs> he, he he has a giant net. Consider them dealt with, boss. Right. Bada bing bada boom. This Around flowers, he says, "Bada bing, bada bloom." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, top tier dad jokes here. Yes, all right, <laughs> I'm all for it. You know, you, you've succeeded when one of your commenters says, "I spat my my drink all over my screen" when they heard that. Right? That's you yeah, know you're doing comment, it right. Comment exactly that if you made it this far into the video. <laughs> Something wrong here. Or maybe you missed the demented little man in the jester's oh, crazy yes, fools around. asked me to fix his bro- There you go. Have you seen- And he's trans- He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma? In no way I- Well, there is some- You could report the fool. I love Cicero. You know, say he's done something yeah. against the law. That would- Ha! Wonderful! Like I said, the guard is down by the road. You tell him that jester is up to no good and he'll deal with it. Then come back here and- I love Cicero, but I really love the, the reaction to- to hit him when he's all pissed off. I think this you know, can. I've I never... think doing this can actually get you hunted by the Dark Brotherhood. Well, that's funny. I've never even known this was an option. I always just skip over this stuff. That's so funny. Love this quest. Because he's carrying the Night Mother, which is the main focus of the Dark Brotherhood quest. Yeah, yeah. I think I came down here once in my my first original play playthrough and helped him out. You know, just him being the eccentric whatever, thinking he'd be a quest giver or something later. I had no idea about the whole Dark Brotherhood thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's just funny. Are there. Oh my god, wrecking him. He dropped his hat. Oh, 
that's funny. I thought it was finally going to be a By order of the Yarl. Stop right uh, there. Smart man. <laughs> I paid 40 gold and I got a hat. <laughs> So now I'm probably gonna that may be a good place to cap it. It's it's nine on my end, so it must be uh, gosh, what midnight or well, yours? I, I don't want to end it yet. There's one more thing I have to do. Um, okay. hold on. Um, uh, good loads. <laughs> if it does. But uh, I have something cool. I'll probably share my camera with you. Divine sake, skull. Where the hell? How Who do, do you get the... think we're threatening with what? Old war Why am I? We're not soldiers anymore. <laughs> okay, Shift that's a good to Dawnstar instead. Okay. <laughs> what should I make of that? Oh, that's a good cliffhanger for the, for the next time we get back. The into this. Uh, I guess I'll do a normal save too. But the video isn't over yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit Skyrim. Dawn's but, but uh. Let me share my screen with you. I can I can read it. Illegal chips. There we go, yeah. They're not actually illegal, but they're flavored like illegal things. This is my Thanksgiving feast. Even though this video isn't going to come out on Thanksgiving, so uh, it's kind of pointless, but I wanted to use these in a video, and I couldn't think of a better way. So, uh, so let's see what flavors I got. The three flavors uh, of the main ones are... I'm kind of scared that there's like this there's pepper. Kazu, uh, Kazu Marzu, which is maggot cheese. Oh my god, what? Yeah. Um, there's horse meat. <laughs> horse meat flavored. And, uh, and there's poison blowfish, which is the one that's the most cool. Because uh, <laughs> because they actually put something into it that's gonna sting your mouth, and it right it's a, it's tastes a, like neurotoxin. Yeah, it actually does though. Uh, it's helped. It's <laughs> but it's been it's a flavor designed by the Mythical Kitchen. So uh, good Mythical Morning, if you know them. It comes with a bonus flavor since I got the box. So I have an extra maggot cheese. That's so fun. Yeah, maggot cheese. <laughs> so uh. I think the easiest way for me no, to eat they... this is to take off this cat mask. Uh oh. Big reveal. Dun 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 dun. The floating okay. pair of eyes in a mouth. Ah! Terrifying. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna. I guess I should. I should save the Fugu Poison Blowfish for last. Ooh. I should save the Fugu Poison Blowfish for last. Uh. Let me start with the horse meat. <laughs> That's a fun sentence to say. It's the perfect appetizer. <laughs> it smells like meat, and I don't like it. <laughs> bone, bone well, you know, appetite. If they have those, right? If they have those Harry Potter jelly beans that can taste like uh, either like popcorn or earwax, then unfortunately, I bet they figure out some other. Uh, what were they? Flavins? That's the official chemistry term for that. The biochem term for that. I don't know, it just tastes like a potato chip. I'm gonna... It's tough because you don't have a comparator, like, I've never eaten horse meat, so I wouldn't know, like, oh, how, how authentic, right? I, uh... I definitely haven't tasted horse meat either. <laughs> I've never... Wink. <laughs> wink, wink. I don't know. I guess it tastes like horse. See, the thing about this is it's like illegal chips. They, they're not allowed to include the ingredients, so they have to, like, imitate the flavor. But even if but if they didn't imitate the flavor, then it wouldn't matter. Because what are you going to say? Oh, it doesn't taste like horse horse meat. Officers, the rest of them. Well, I mean, those Harry Potter beans have, like a, like, a blueberry, like the blue one. Is it blueberry or, like, dishwasher soap? And I've never eaten dishwasher soap, but I've smelled it enough where when you eat that jelly bean, you're like, oh, God. Like, it feels like I just ate a Tide Pod, right? 
or, a, or one of those little uh, the the instant uh, you know the, the Cascade Platinum. Those little ever little taste little maggot pods. cheese. Here's what maggot cheese oh, tastes God. like. Ugh. I don't think there's any maggots in it. I would hope not. If you really want to upset yourself, uh, go look up what a horsehair worm is and how they work. I God, they not. only infect <laughs> yeah, grasshoppers and stuff, but yeah, they, they will make you very unhappy. It tastes like cheese, but there's like the unsettling taste to it, which is probably supposed to taste like the maggots. All right, it's time. All right. We're... Have some oh, blowfish. Big... Here we are. This is the cool one. Hey, uh, hey, Joe, don't forget to, like, don't forget to, like, you know, make some, use, use the, use this, uh, legal tip challenge as part of the promotion for this video. If either Dynamics you was here, get... I'd let either Dynamics try the, the, the chips, but... We are on a Discord call. All right. The, the result would be the same, which is I would not put that in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> I'll do some hobbit, some habanero stuff with you. That's fine, but uh, that I'll just pass. My heart is beating a little bit because they designed this to numb your mouth. All right. Give me a count off. <laughs> Tastes like Novocaine. All right. Three, two, one. Zero. I can see your health insurance premium go up from here. Okay. <laughs> Verdict? <laughs> I can feel it. Ugh. Oh. Is it tingling, or is it like more of like a lidocaine, like you actually feel some numbness cascading on your tongue? Uh, I don't even know if this has like the stuff that's supposed to like give your mouth a tingle, or if I'm just having like a like you know like a placebo effect because like that's what they had in the video. I don't know if the if the to sell product has it, but my mouth definitely well, feels only... funny. The only way to find out is have more, obviously, more. So far, it is the best tasting chip. It does taste better than the other two. The one that also attacks the nerves in your tongue. Good to know. The only precaution I have here is the same thing if you handle, like, ghost pepper chips or habanero chips. Do not touch your eyes, your nose, and nothing. Don't worry, sure it's, all, it's, only, to wash your it's only on top of my green screen gloves. <laughs> okay, good. But just, you know, just in case, when you're like, ah, oh, you inadvertently wipe your eyes, like, I would hate to see that go down. Oh, God. My eyes numb. <laughs> I can see well, poison it's very least numb. <laughs> Survive, folks. <laughs> this is weird. On that note, I do have to peel out. But I'm All glad right. if you're kicking off your Thanksgiving, your Thanksgiving holiday, there's no better way to set up a fantastic Thanksgiving meal than having that in your mouth on the Wednesday before, <laughs> and then Thursday you have actual good, delicious yeah, like, food. Like, oh, thank God. Like with, right. Within hours, it's going to be like eating Thanksgiving time. So, like, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, one more. And, uh... Just don't bring that as your, as your party favor, right? As a, as a hidden message for, uh, for anyone who stuck around this whole time, do you have any, uh, spoilers or upcoming, uh, things about your, uh, mods? Oh, for me? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, um, the one I'm working on right now is Dark Light Tower, and... It's a little more than just adding a patrol. So that there is going to be a patrol that will appear in one of several different locations. And uh, the, the difference here is not only will the faction further fortify their entrance by adding on a series of actors, but they actually change the landscape at the front as well. 
Uh, if you've ever been to Darkway Tower, it's a be tactically it's a beautiful area, but so underutilized. So instead of just having the wreckage there and no actual conflict, uh, they'll start to build in fortifications. They will repair broken walls. Uh, they'll put in spikes, uh, and I've even changed the nav mesh and have I have those elements turn on and off. So when it's when it's, when they're at full power, they will have a fully functioning curtain wall outside the tower. They'll have a skeleton archer on top and other ranged fighters take advantage of that. Uh, if you make your way into the tower, you might even be harassed. You might be flanked by the folks outside that don't want you getting to their their master, uh, Sylvie, uh, Sylvia, who's way on top. So you may, may be pursued throughout the tower uh, until you take them out. And then lastly, um, as you allow the faction to gain more power, uh, Sylvia will ma will manufacture two unique items that aren't available in any other way in the game. Uh, you have to make the decision, like, am I going to wipe them out early so they're not a pain and they don't give me trouble? Or will I purposely let them get stronger so I can maybe perpetually steal potions from them or perpetually steal magical items? Or will I let them get stronger and then take them out so I get that uh, the, those two top tier unique magic items at the very I think top? We were talking and about something like that during Squizzard. We were talking about the perpetually being able to steal from a more powerful group. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a, uh, an alchemist that's part of this group that uh, will supply both the patrols and the local folks with a ton of invisibility potions and some other things. And you'll actually be able to turn her if you uh, if you wallop her hard enough, she'll realize, I've made a terrible mistake working for these people. <laughs> and she'll permanently leave. And then uh, she'll become an alchemist vendor that you can run into later. But then because she's gone, the faction won't have her to provide support anymore. So they'll be significantly weakened if you find the alchemist and then, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, bring her. Persuade you know, to, her. To her, to her life. Yeah, per persuade her with air quotes <laughs> uh, to leave. And then uh, she might become an ally later. I actually have some other stuff I don't necessarily want to spoil, but... Um, it'll be one of these optional characters. It's not the standard situation where you just walk into a situation and someone's like, oh, you look like a cool person, let's be friends forever. And then you shake their hand and they become an ally. It's going to be something where uh, it'll be a little more complicated than that. And she won't be a direct ally or follower where she'll you know, go with you into dungeons, but she could be a vendor to you and might be able to help out with some other stuff later as well. So a little more subtle, a little more nuanced, uh, definitely different. And the entire behavior of the faction and how they fight will change if they lose her as an alchemist so uh it's it's a again just it's supposed to increase re replay value uh you know maybe if you're a necromancer or if you're, if you're allied with the hag ravens maybe you want them to succeed and uh, if you're actually part of that faction through one of the, your like your mods where you start uh, with, with an alternative beginning maybe they'll be one of your strongest allies throughout the rift so not only can you do the thieves guild thing but you could have these these people have your back and they will stomp on guards and or other people that'll be after you. So it, it's all this, all these options for replay value. Are you doing okay? Wait, wait, wait quick, quick! <laughs> Is your tongue numb? <laughs> Wave your hands if you're all right. <laughs> My stomach feels something. a little weird. <laughs> My mouth feels all right though. I think it might. I think there might not be like actual numbing like in the commercial product as much as there was in the promotional videos. But I'm trying to see if there's any ingredients that like stand out. Yeah, they know. may not be able to put any type of actual uh, medical numbing agent in an uncontrolled substance like that, where you know, anyone could just down five or six bags and do whatever. It contains acrylamide, which is a product known in the state of California to cause cancer or other reproductive harm. Uh, g good to know. Hey, Joe, yeah, there's, there's a, a hashtag on here. Uh, uh, hashtag illegal chips challenge. So, like, post this to TikTok, I guess. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> kind of, I kind of. Did like... you make his face turn? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, you, you could even make his face turn blue because it's got the green screen, right? You can make it turn it whatever shade you want. Yeah. And, uh, there's a, th there's a throat spray called chloroseptic. Um, I don't. I don't think it's as popular nowadays, but it does numb your throat, and you could just buy that in bulk. You don't need a prescription. Uh, you could buy, you know, bottles and bottles of it if you want to. Sounds like so it would go good with this mask that I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it tastes awful, by the way. Uh, like you know, I'm not trying to slam the medicine makers because I'm sure. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's not supposed to taste good. 
Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure they're doing all they can to mask the actual flavor because I'm sure the the unmasked chemical on its own is probably horrific, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but but the numbs your throat probably means years. it wasn't meant to be eaten. Yeah, it's definitely not something you want to swish around on your tongue at all. I don't know uh, if it that just takes time to topical. kick in or something. Maybe, maybe that's what happens. Maybe it takes time to kick in. Maybe I'll like I'll it go numb and it. like in five minutes or whatever, whatever's in this chip. <laughs> maybe alert other people in your house. Like, by the way, if you don't hear from me, oh, in, I'm in home alone. Just check in, just in case. I'm home oh, alone. Oh, <laughs> okay. But don't I'll worry, this what. footage I'll, is all going to get automatically backed up, so Joe will be able to edit it. So this video, will, if it might still go up if I die. So <laughs> I was more concerned, like, I may check on you in half an hour to make sure you're doing all right, just on Discord. And <laughs> I'm sure if the just chip could case. kill me, they wouldn't sell it. That's Capitalism cares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, false. Demonstrably false, but but just in case. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess that's all the time you have. I got to take off, but again, hey, happy holidays. Great to, to sync up again. Glad you have a, a good uh, holiday break coming up. And yay! I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for, again, for the, for the invite and for the, uh, you know, for the showcase. Always, yeah. always. It was great it. having you. Uh, uh, don't forget to share this video with your subreddit because it always does so well when you share, when we share my videos. Oh, yeah. No, I'm always ha happy to plug you. You and, can always, uh, uh, yeah, you, can always you can always tell them that, uh, and there's a little uh, secrets about your upcoming project on it. Oh yeah, no, I'm happy to to, to drop the little secret about the Easter eggs and stuff, kind of hidden towards the end. Uh, I, I'll just I'll let them guess. They'll, they have to they have to find it. You know, they only find out if they watch the whole thing. There you go. Or if they skip so, to the uh, end. No, again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> uh, my if one. You did was... that. Go back. Watch <laughs> the whole thing again. <laughs> right. <laughs> I dropped several clues throughout the video. No, I didn't, but right. You might have. But again, hey, take care. <laughs> Happy holidays. Thanks again. And, Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, hope, you, hope you hang in there uh, again. To you watching, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Let me know if you did anything interesting in the comments below. And uh, ha ha happy December. It's almost Christmas, I guess. <laughs> have, a, have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out Eater Dynamics. It's going to be linked in the description. Uh, Eater Dynamics. I started working with them, uh, and it's even before I started working with them, they made my favorite mods ever, and it's the ones that I have in every mod list. I always have a, uh, I always have the dynamic, you know, the, these these cool factions going on in the background because I just think it's something cool that builds up while you're not paying attention. Oh, thank you so much, man. Now, I, I... Uh, I, I'm honored to really, really do, you know, be here, and, and uh, I really enjoy these talks that we have about you know uh, all the crazy cool new mod combos that you find and cool aspects of game design. And uh, no, I, I really appreciate it. And we should it. totally and, start yeah, a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> this is kind of a podcast. Uh, you, you know, it's that's not a bad thought. So I podcast about uh, playing again, Skyrim. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I keep well, podcast, I keep honestly, I keep delaying the inevitable. <laughs> yeah. So you know, just kind of, kind of general game design stuff. You know, there's a lot to talk about. We have the Elden Ring coming out. We have a lot of older game remakes. We can contrast the mechanics of older games with uh, kind of the new refined gameplay that we're seeing in Elden Ring. We're seeing some kind of cohesive group behavior in some demos that I've seen so far. It's not quite like dynamic faction stuff yet, but they're moving in that direction. And I know From Software has a lot, not complete overlap, but a lot of overlap with Skyrim. And they're, they're kind of converging a little bit, a little more open world stuff. So it's an interesting space to watch. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting my hopes up too high because uh, there's been a lot of recent bummers, such as Cyberpunk, uh, which I do like. But it, you know, it obviously was a bit of a bummer, and uh, and you know the whole GTA thing that happened recently. I'm dating the video <laughs> <Yes>. now, but <laughs> yeah, we could play no, that sometime. You are not wrong. So I did buy. I did pre-order be... that before any of the news came out, which is stupid. But I, I would have bought it anyway. But even though I understand yeah, it. It is. God, I'm sorry. I keep delaying. And... <laughs> <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> hey, happy holidays. I'll, I'll catch you later. And uh, I'll check on you in a bit just in case to make sure you're uh, you're still breathing. Okay, I'll ping you on, uh, I'm still breathing. <laughs> on Discord or something. I guess right. I should do the outro Cheers, again. Man. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Check the description. Bye-bye. Love is a burning thing. 
And it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire 